Welcome to Simplify Pharma. Today we are going to discuss about need and scope of pharmaceutical validation. What is validation? Validation is a documented act of proving that any procedure, process, equipment, material, activity or system actually leads to the expected result. So validation is documentary evidence that says whatever procedure process that we follow or the equipment material that we use it actually leads to the expected result that means the products that are manufactured they meet the predetermined quality characteristics the iso definition of validation is a confirmation by examination and the provision of objective evidence that the particular requirements for a specific intended use are fulfilled according to fda the goal of validation is to establish documentary evidence which provides a high degree of assurance that a specific process will consistently produce a product meeting its predetermined specifications and quality attributes the prime objective of any pharmaceutical plant is to manufacture products of requisite attribute and quality consistently at the lowest possible cost how this concept of validation came into existence what's the history that's behind it this term was first proposed by fd officials ted byers and bud loftus in the mid 1970s in order to improve the quality of pharmaceuticals so what they said that validation is establishing documentary evidence that provides a very high degree of assurance that specific process will consistently produce a product meeting its predetermined specification and quality attributes so this is to maintain and assure a higher degree of quality of food and drug products so can we say validation is best viewed as an important and integral part of cgmp yes that's true now let's take a look at the need of validation before introduction of a new method into routine use we use validation whenever the conditions change for which a method has been validated for example instrument with different characteristics one thing we need to understand validation in itself does not improve processes but confirms that the processes have been properly developed and they are under control so if a condition is changed established method used in different lab different condition or different stuff this is called as condition is changed so whenever the condition changes for which the matter has to be revalidated whenever the method is changed and the change is outside the original scope of the method now it would not be feasible to use equipment not knowing if it will produce the product we want not to employ the people with no assurance that they can do or fail to implement process checks or examination to assure that product it meets the specifications so the efficient use of these resources is necessary for the continued success of the industry now for example the cost of product failures rejects reworks recall complaints are a sufficient part of the total production cost now if we take a look at the assurance of quality without validation a process that is well understood and in a state the confidence control of quality of the product manufactured cannot be assured without validation since each and every step in validation is monitored constantly lesser rejects and reworks would happen and which would lead to an effective cost reduction validation has a very vast scope but before carrying out validation proper preparation and planning has to be performed validation is performed in a very structured way according to protocols and documented procedures a written report on outcome of validation it should be produced for documentation validation is usually performed for new premises equipment utilities and systems and processes and procedures 
at periodic intervals and when major changes have been made. Validation should be done over a period of time. Uh, at least three consecutive batches should be validated to demonstrate their consistency. Significant changes to the facilities or the equipment and processes that may affect the quality of the product, they should be validated. A risk assessment approach should be used to determine the scope and extent of validation required. The scope of validation includes selection of raw material, product design, process design, design of control parameters, in-process quality control parameter designing, finished product testing or evaluation criteria designing, validation of related analytical process, related system, facility equipment, personal training, careful determination of criteria variable of the process, careful and continuous control of these variables. This everything will ensure consistent product quality. There are several benefits of validation like assurance of quality, process optimization, it reduces the quality cost, it leads to nominal mix-ups and bottlenecks. Now bottleneck in simplest definition a process bottleneck is a work stage that gets more work request than it can process at its maximum throughput capacity that causes an interruption to the flow of work and delays across the production process. So if demand is more than supply, it leads to bottleneck. Minimal batch failures, improved efficiency and productivity, reduction in rejections, Fewer complaints about process related failures, reduced testing in process and unfinished goods, easier scale up from development work, easier maintenance of equipment, improved employee awareness of the processes and more rapid automation. These are the references. Do subscribe to my channel and Stay tuned for more updates on pharmaceutical validation.